exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. We have, I believe, based on what I've, um, I, I looked online just to uh, get a get a tally because you know I've played the game before, so I know we're getting near the end. But we have, uh, I believe, ten more missions. Uh, nine nine main missions, uh, including the one that we're on. And the one side mission to grab the uh, power armor. Um, so let's see if we can get a move on then. Got a lot to do and many places to go. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you'll have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. I underestimated you. Too bad now. Oh, that just let them know somebody was in the house. Guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Explore the Project Zero Dawn Facilita. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Another incident. Uh, and... Need support too. I believe, if I remember correctly, there is another. Is it here that there's another battery? Uh, you know what? I I have two, don't I? I just need one more. Let's see what it says. Yeah, I just need one more. Um, I don't know if the battery's in here, but I'm gonna look around and make sure. The last battery that we need. I I think it's a little bit later than this. Otherwise, I would have had the power armor a lot earlier than I did. Yeah, I think it is later than this. Uh, Alright, is that... That said, I'm not going to, like, leave lore around, anyway. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Downproofing. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Okay. And... 
Or else, I'm not going to read the text things. I've read them once before I'd in a previous playthrough. So, not going to worry about it here. Let me just make sure I'm not leaving anything important behind on that. Okay. Very comfy couches, though. Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. So here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris. Out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. You said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. They got in through the vents. Let nothing oh, stop you from learning the truth. Spread out. If it moves, kill it. What is this place? Tomb? And where are you going? There. Looks like you mean. Done. Rusty it done. Go. Damn, these guys are man, they are freaking loaded for bear here. 
All right. <laughs> All right. I was not expecting that guy to see me around the corner, but. Castros. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out. If it moves, kill it. What is this place? A tomb? Okay. I can't draw my bow when I'm when I'm crouched. Interesting. I can do a silent takedown. Assuming it will be enough. Come out and I'll make it quick. Okay. Got him. Get over here. She's coming. No, come on. Use the freaking. We're too close to the tribal primitive stuff us now. The data points. What do they contain? Okay. Get rid of those guys with their own weapons. into nutrients millennia of evolution liquefied the miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel in a word yes who did this pharaoh that asshole is he here no doctor please tell him tom pike wants a word now, get off get off Please, you get Ted Pharaoh in here. <laughs> Want to discuss? Oof. So, Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, there was always end times this and lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty, too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? <laughs> Should date, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. <laughs> you previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self replication routines. I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt. Every day since. Since, uh. Would you like to take a moment? No, no, no. I, I just. 
I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept and, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light. There were no limits. God, there were no limits. <laughs> Guy made the fire robots. There is some mistake. I don't understand why I was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a Nobel laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm, the pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Oh, you'll see. You will see. the mystery you're building a colony ship it's obvious and it's not gonna fly i mean literally remember the odyssey that multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57 that went nowhere real slow and you have to get somewhere real fast I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time to be clear i'm not a worker on the project do you even understand how few people it could save the whole generation ship concept is is not going to happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage, we're talking a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. <laughs> Jeez. Being with Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still don't dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. That's their guidelines. Another interview. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. 
I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Collaborate. That is what's left. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. We were destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life, for us. Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how'd it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? And Hephaestus, taking over Cyan. I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. 
And they made reference to the DLC here. That's interesting. They added that little that little piece in there where he mentions Hephaestus taking over Cyan. Other guidelines. Yeah, that guy need to read read his documents, I think. Uh, there was no getting out of there. You know too much, dude. You now know too much. Stranded Shackles. That's the two of two of three references in the game to Stranded uh Death Stranding. I was gonna say Stranded Deep, that's completely something that's something completely different. Um Okay. A medical imaging chamber. 
Is that where I have to go? I think it's back here. Yeah, it's back here. Okay. Out we go. Intruder, get her. Come on. Yeah, Whatever yeah. you do, don't die now. Whatever you do, don't die now. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. There we go. And I will take that fire striker from you, sir. taken care of. Uh, what does he have on him? Oh, desert glass. Okay. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn? and No, ma'am. That ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too. Just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Huh. Uh. Zero Dawn. He is art in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souve? Christina Souve? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family. For the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history. And echo in the future. Not perish into oblivion. This opportunity. I must do this. I hashed it out with them. What the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere... Well, it's horrifying, isn't it? 
A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this, and then... Nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. The counselor said I might change my mind. I told him that he didn't know me very well then. For life's sake, I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. Yeah, all right. Well, we knocked this guy all the way down the steps. Okay. That's, uh, I know that there's stuff in this room over here. Let to look, see if there's anything else there. Okay. And over there. Here we go. Another one of these. I need to find the right configuration. So left, up, down. Oof, that's so hard to see. Uh, left, up, left, down, it looks like. Oh, wait. Left, up, left, down, right. Okay. Oop, that's, that's wrong. Left. Down right. Done. I should check the door nearby. All right, that one's missing. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Hey. Whoop. Hey. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Yeah, that's the one that's upside down. <laughs> uh, we need a... Because there's a part missing for the other door. This got us into storage, right? There's nothing around here. Okay. There. What is that? Oh, that's the wheel I need. Found one. Looks intact. And that's the uh, the emitters down there. I wonder if I. Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's all the same room, right? Yeah, it's all the same room there. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open. All right, so he installed it upside down, so it should be down, left, up, right, down. Down, left, up, right, and then down. That did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Okay. Back to the door. Okay. 
Wait, do we have more guys that show up here? I don't remember. Okay, we're good. Oh, no, we're not good. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. I can't get through that door again. Where all the fire stars were. 